friends in this particular uh, video of mine now i'm going to showcase to you as to what is the meaning of the uh, code print um, uh, brackets open data dot head and simple brackets open again close and close and how to understand it now here uh, you will see again uh, here this is another way to uh, bring in and understand your own main headings which are present in my data set now here again i'm showcasing to you that was simply uh, uh, data dot or the df dot head and then i have showcased to you however here it is print now that's the command again that you can uh, check it out and you will see that yes it is again showcasing to me the heading but not the manner in which df dot head had showed to me so that is if you want a neat way to be showcased to you then i would uh, suggest that yes start using create a data frame for yourself and after creating the data frame wherein you're going to read your file you can go ahead and check out and it will be giving you a very neatly spaced and and shows to you each and everything as to what is present under a particular column and how many rows and everything in this particular case you have seen that it is giving you however it is not very clear you see the dates are there timings are there they are separated by uh, colons and that's why in that particular code remember in my first video where I said this is my first coding for the time series I had to separate all of them and then carry forward so this is again a um, a way that I wanted to introduce and make you understand that yes this is another way when you want to read and understand so I have shown you one and secondly through invoking the pandas as pd and numpy as this one creating a data head I mean data frame df uh, dot head that's what I have done and here you can check it out so you have got here df dot head and print df head and together you can check and see whether you're going to get the same um, um, you know kind of a data or not and here you can see very clearly that yes there is a difference between df dot head and print and within the brackets you have got df dot head so that is the uh, fantastic thing that you will have to understand and see now df dot head gives you the values only for the first four uh, five columns only out here and it will be not the columns the rows i'm sorry and the data is showcased for the 14 so five rows and 14 columns is what you will be getting and here it gives you that yes this is what we are doing it uh, doing in a sense it, the code that is being run gives you these kind of a values also side by side that is first observation that i wanted you to check it out and see as to how so you know when you are learning uh, python this is the uh, thing that i have learned that yes try to do and check it out what are the other ways and in which you are able to get the proper answer and that's why i have run now you can see the differences very clearly that yes when i have done print df dot head this is how i'm getting it date time and for the five rows and 14 columns however if i do df dot head it is giving me the five rows again and 14 columns however you can see and observe the uh, manner in which it has been exhibited and showcased to us so these are the differences that you should know and uh, many times we do not um, you know come across in the books or the bibles which are written on the bible so uh, on the python so you can go ahead and and that is one reason why i'm showcasing it so that you are able to see your own data and understand and to proceed further also so let me come up with another video wherein i can showcase to you another code and in what way it is going to be helpful for our time series analysis till then thanks bye